Thanks for joining my Petsable Funny Pet Lovers in this comprehensive guide on tick prevention and care. Remember, regular checks and preventive care are key to keeping your dog safe from ticks and the diseases they carry. Stay vigilant and proactive in your pet care routine. Where do ticks live? Ticks are not just nuisances, they are carriers of diseases such as Lyme disease, making it crucial to understand their habitats. These parasites are typically found in environments that provide them with essential elements for their life cycle, hosts for feeding, high humidity for hydration, and vegetation where they can wait for these hosts. Preferred habitats, wooded areas. Ticks thrive in forests due to the abundant leaf litter and low branches, which help maintain the humidity levels they require. The dense canopy also protects them from direct sunlight, which can be detrimental to their survival. Tall grass and brush. Long grass blades provide a perfect launching point for ticks to latch onto passing animals or humans. This is why walking through tall grass is often discouraged during tick season. Leaf litter. Many tick species lay their eggs in decomposing leaves that cover the forest floor, providing moisture and a protective cover from the elements. Ground-level vegetation. Shrubs, low-growing plants, and even fallen logs are ideal places for ticks to reside as they offer direct access to the ground animals such as rodents, which serve as hosts for smaller tick species. Microclimates Ticks are very sensitive to microclimate conditions such as temperature and humidity. They generally prefer areas with 85% or higher humidity, which is why they are less active during dry and hot periods and come out in full force in milder and wetter conditions. During the hottest parts of the day, Ticks often retreat to the underbrush or leaf litter to escape the heat and preserve their moisture levels. Geographic distribution. Globally, ticks are found on every continent except Antarctica. However, their density and the variety of species can greatly vary depending on the local climate and ecosystem. In the United States, for example, different species such as the deer tick, black-legged tick, which transmits Lyme disease, are predominantly found in the northeastern, mid-Atlantic, and north-central states while the dog tick, known for spreading Rocky Mountain spotted fever, is more widespread. Output. Impact of environmental changes. Human activities such as deforestation, urban sprawl, and climate change affect tick populations by altering their natural habitats. The expansion of urban areas into wooded regions increases the interface between ticks and humans, thereby raising the likelihood of tick-transmitted diseases. Understanding where ticks live helps in implementing preventative measures effectively and reducing the risk of tick bites for you and your pets. Awareness of these environments is the first step in proactive tick management and disease prevention. When are ticks most active? Understanding the activity patterns of ticks is crucial for effective tick prevention and management. Ticks do not jump or fly. Instead, they use a behavior known as questing where they hold onto leaves and grass with their hind legs and reach out with their front legs to climb onto a host. Their activity depends heavily on environmental conditions, especially temperature and humidity. Spring and summer, ticks become notably more active as temperatures rise in late spring. This period marks the beginning of what is considered the high season for ticks, continuing throughout the summer. The warmer weather allows ticks to be more mobile and increases their metabolic rate, which drives their need to feed. Fall. Many species of ticks remain active in the fall, especially during mild weather. Adult ticks may seek their final blood meal during this time to gather energy for laying eggs or sustaining themselves through the winter. Tick activity generally decreases in winter with cold weather, but they can remain active on warmer days, especially in more temperate regions. Ticks are typically more active during the morning and after rainfalls when humidity levels are higher. High humidity is vital for their survival as it prevents dehydration. During dry or hot parts of the day, ticks may retreat into the underbrush or leaf litter to conserve moisture. The specific activity periods of ticks can vary significantly based on geographic location. In temperate regions, ticks are most active from spring through fall. In tropical regions, ticks may be active year-round due to warm temperatures and high humidity levels. In colder climates, ticks' active periods are shorter and primarily concentrated in the warmer months. Changes in climate patterns can extend the active periods of ticks by causing warmer winters and earlier springs. This change not only prolongs their feeding activity but may also lead to an increase in tick populations and an expanded range for tick species, potentially introducing tick-borne illnesses to new areas. Recognizing when ticks are most active helps pet owners and individuals prepare and implement preventative measures effectively, 
understanding potential risks for tick-borne diseases throughout the year. Preventative strategies. Given this information, it's crucial to take proactive steps during peak tick activity. Avoid high-risk areas. During seasons of high tick activity, limit exposure to known tick habitats such as tall grasses, dense forests, and leaf litter. Use repellents. Apply tick repellents that are safe for humans and pets before engaging in outdoor activities. For pets, consult a veterinarian for the best tick prevention treatments. Regular checks. After spending time in potential tick habitats, conduct thorough tick checks on yourself, your children, and your pets. Early removal of ticks can prevent disease transmission. Community education efforts about tick activity periods and prevention can significantly reduce the incidence of tick bites and tick-borne diseases. Public health campaigns that highlight the importance of tick prevention during peak seasons are crucial for community health, especially in areas where tick activity is significant. Understanding when ticks are most active is a fundamental aspect of effective tick prevention. By adjusting our behaviors according to their activity patterns and taking appropriate preventative actions, we can reduce the risk of tick bites and the associated health risks. Always stay informed about the tick activity levels in your area and adjust your preventive measures accordingly. Ensuring your dog's safety from ticks during walks is crucial, especially in areas known for high tick activity. Ticks can transmit various diseases to both humans and pets, making prevention essential. Here's how you can protect your dog from ticks effectively while enjoying the outdoors. Understand the environment. Before heading out, familiarize yourself with the type of environments where ticks are prevalent. As mentioned earlier, ticks thrive in wooded areas, tall grass, and dense brush. Plan your walks in areas that are less likely to be tick hotspots, such as well-maintained paths and clear open spaces. Use of tick repellents. Tick repellents can be a significant first line of defense. Topical repellents. These are applied directly to the dog's skin and typically provide protection for a month. Products may include spot-on treatments that spread over the dog's body. Tick collars. These collars release chemicals that either repel ticks or kill them on contact. Ensure the collar is fitted correctly for maximum effectiveness. Natural repellents. For those preferring a less chemical approach, natural oils such as lemon eucalyptus and neem oil can be used. These should be applied more frequently, especially before each walk. Protective clothing for dogs. Consider dog-specific protective clothing, especially if you're walking in high-risk areas. There are vests and suits designed to repel ticks, which cover most of your dog's body, reducing the risk of ticks attaching. Regular grooming and checks. Grooming. Brush your dog before and after walks. This helps remove any ticks that haven't yet attached. Tick checks. After every walk, conduct a thorough tick check. Pay particular attention to areas that ticks favor such as the ears, neck, underarms, and between the toes. Using a fine-toothed comb can help detect and remove ticks. Behavioral adjustments. Leash training. Keep your dog on a leash in areas likely to have ticks. This prevents them from straying into dense vegetation where ticks are more prevalent. Avoid peak times. If possible, avoid walking your dog during peak tick activity times, especially in the early morning or after a rainfall when the humidity is higher. Educate yourself about tick-borne diseases. Knowing the symptoms of tick-borne diseases can help you act swiftly if your dog shows signs of illness. Common symptoms include fever, lethargy, joint pain, and loss of appetite. Prompt veterinary care can make a significant difference in outcomes. Conclusion. Preventing ticks on your dog during walks requires a combination of preparation, proactive measures, and post-walk care. By implementing these strategies, you can significantly reduce the risk of tick bites and related diseases, ensuring that both you and your dog enjoy your time outdoors safely. Where and how do ticks attach to your dog? Ticks often hide inside a dog's ears. The warm, moist environment is ideal for ticks, and it's a spot less likely to be disturbed by the dog. The neck provides a large surface area where ticks can attach, especially under a dog's collar where they can remain undisturbed for long periods. Ticks can also be found between a dog's toes. This area offers protection to ticks as dogs cannot easily dislodge them from this spot. These less visible areas are preferred by ticks due to the warmth and protection they offer. The area under a dog's tail provides a dark, moist environment, which is appealing to ticks. How Ticks Attach Ticks use a specialized mouth part called a hypostome to attach to their host. The process involves the tick inserting its hypostome into the skin of the dog, often secreting a substance that acts like glue to help hold them in place. This makes them difficult to remove without proper techniques. Process of finding a host. 
Ticks engage in a behavior known as questing, where they climb to the tips of grasses or branches and extend their front legs. When a dog brushes past, the tick quickly grabs onto the fur. Once on the host, ticks will often move upwards towards the head, as many species prefer areas where the skin is thinner for easier blood access. Once attached, ticks can feed on your dog's blood for several days. The longer a tick is attached, the higher the risk of transmitting diseases like Lyme disease and Rocky Mountain spotted fever. Early detection and removal are critical. Post-walk checks. Always check your dog after walks, especially if you have walked through areas known for ticks. Routine grooming. Regular grooming not only helps in finding ticks early, but also in keeping your dog's fur free from tangles where ticks can easily hide. Knowing where ticks are likely to attach and understanding their attachment process are key components in protecting your dog from ticks and tick-borne diseases. Regular checks and proper grooming habits play a crucial role in preventing ticks from becoming a health issue for your dog. Best Ways to Prevent Ticks on Your Dog Preventing ticks from attaching to your dog is essential to pet care, especially in areas where ticks are prevalent. Effective prevention not only protects your dog from tick-borne diseases, but also reduces the chances of those diseases being transmitted to humans. This chapter outlines several strategies to safeguard your dog against ticks effectively. Topical medications are among the most popular and effective methods for preventing ticks. These products are applied directly to the skin, usually on the back of the dog's neck or along the spine. They contain chemicals that repel ticks or kill them on contact. Examples include Fipronil, Permethrin, and Imidacloprid. Most topical treatments need to be applied monthly and can offer a broad spectrum of protection against both ticks and fleas. Oral tick preventives are another effective option. These medications are administered once a month and work by circulating in the dog's bloodstream. When a tick bites the dog, it ingests the drug and is killed. These are particularly beneficial as they leave no residue on the dog's coat, which can be ideal for families with small children. Common active ingredients include afoxolaner and fluorolaner. Tick collars are impregnated with chemical preventives that either repel or kill ticks. They are particularly useful for dogs that spend a lot of time outdoors. The collar must contact the dog's skin to transfer the chemicals to the dog's fur and skin. Collars typically offer several months of protection and should be worn continuously to ensure effectiveness. While there are no vaccines that prevent ticks themselves, there are vaccines available for diseases such as Lyme disease, which is transmitted by ticks. Vaccinating your dog can provide an additional layer of protection against tick-borne illnesses. Managing the environment where your dog spends time can significantly reduce tick exposure. Maintain your yard. Keep grass mowed and bushes trimmed. Remove leaf litter and tall weeds where ticks are likely to hide. Use tick granules or sprays. These products can be applied to your yard during the tick season to reduce the tick population. Avoid known tick habitats. When walking your dog, try to stay in the center of trails and avoid wooded or brushy areas with high grass. After any outdoor activities, especially in areas where ticks are common, it's crucial to check your dog for ticks. Early detection and prompt removal of ticks can prevent the transmission of diseases. Learn proper tick removal techniques to ensure complete removal without leaving parts of the tick embedded in the skin. Are there natural alternatives to tick prevention medication? For pet owners who prefer to use natural solutions for tick prevention, several alternatives can be as effective as chemical treatments. These natural options not only reduce the exposure to synthetic chemicals for both the dog and the environment, but also offer a gentler approach to tick control. This chapter will discuss various natural alternatives, their effectiveness, and how to safely apply them. Essential oils are a popular natural remedy for tick prevention. Oils such as lemongrass, peppermint, lavender, cedarwood, and geranium are known for their repellent properties against ticks. They can be diluted and applied to your dog's collar or a bandana. Essential oils should be used with caution, as some can be toxic if not properly diluted or if applied excessively. Always consult with a veterinarian before using any essential oils, especially on cats, as they are particularly sensitive to them. Adding a small amount of apple cider vinegar to your dog's drinking water can make their blood less appealing to ticks. Although not a foolproof method, it is a supplementary measure that can reduce the likelihood of ticks latching onto your dog. DIY natural tick collars can be made by applying a few drops of tick-repelling essential oils to a regular dog collar or a piece of cloth. This method provides a localized repellent effect around the neck and head area, which are common targets for ticks. 
Food-grade diatomaceous earth can be lightly dusted on a dog's coat to control ticks. This naturally occurring powder is made from crushed fossils of freshwater organisms and marine life. It acts by dehydrating the ticks upon contact. Caution should be used to avoid inhalation of the powder by both pets and humans. Nematodes are microscopic worms that are harmless to plants, pets, and humans but are deadly to ticks. They can be sprayed in the yard to reduce the tick population in the environment. This method is especially useful in managing ticks in outdoor spaces. Herbal baths can be a soothing way to provide tick protection. Herbs like rosemary, mint, and lavender can be steeped in hot water, cooled, and used as a final rinse on your dog's coat after bathing. This provides an added layer of tick repellency and is safe for the dog's skin. While natural alternatives to tick prevention can be effective, they often require more frequent application than chemical treatments. Consistency and thoroughness in application are key to their effectiveness. Always monitor your pet for any signs of irritation or allergic reactions when trying new treatments. Consulting with a veterinarian can ensure that the natural methods chosen are safe and appropriate for your pet's specific needs. Where should I order my tick prevention medications? When it comes to purchasing tick prevention medications for your dog, it's crucial to choose sources that ensure safety and effectiveness. The best options include veterinary clinics. Buying directly from your veterinarian is highly recommended. They provide products that are not only appropriate for your dog's specific health needs but also stored correctly to maintain efficacy. Accredited online pharmacies. If you prefer shopping online, use pharmacies accredited by veterinary boards, such as the Pharmacy Verified Websites program. These pharmacies are reliable, require prescriptions, and ensure that the medications are genuine. Reputable pet supply stores. Well-known pet supply stores, both online and physical, often carry vet-approved tick prevention products. Ensure the store has good customer reviews and offers products from established brands. Avoid unreliable sources. Steer clear of unknown online sellers and marketplaces that might offer counterfeit or expired products. Always check seller ratings and reviews when purchasing online. Purchasing from a trusted source helps ensure the products you use are safe and effective for your dog's tick prevention. The risks of using tick medication on your dog. While tick prevention medications are vital for protecting your dog from diseases, they can also pose risks. Understanding these risks helps you make informed decisions. Common side effects. These can include skin irritation, gastrointestinal upset, or more rarely, neurological issues. Always monitor your dog after administering medication for any signs of adverse reactions. Choosing the right product, select tick prevention medications based on your veterinarian's recommendation tailored to your dog's health, size, and environmental exposure. Monitoring and action. After applying tick medications, watch for any unusual symptoms such as excessive scratching, lethargy, or behavioral changes. If you observe any severe reactions, consult your veterinarian immediately. Natural alternatives. If you are concerned about chemical exposure, discuss natural alternatives with your veterinarian, which can be milder, but may require more frequent application. By being aware of these factors, you can better protect your dog while minimizing risks associated with tick medications. Today, we're tackling a common issue that many dog owners face, safely removing ticks from their furry friends. Using improper methods can cause more harm than good, so stick around as I show you the safest and most effective way to remove ticks from your dog. Many people use methods like a hot match, petroleum jelly, or nail polish for tick removal, but these can drive the tick deeper into the skin. The best and simplest way is to directly pull the tick off. Follow these easy steps to safely remove a tick effectively. Uh, first things first, you need to find the tick on your dog. Look closely and you'll likely see the tick's mouth attached to the skin. It's crucial to identify the head of the tick to ensure effective removal. Once you've located the tick, grab a pair of fine-tipped tweezers. It's important to use fine-tipped instead of blunt tweezers because you'll need a tight grip. With your tweezers, grasp the tick as close to the skin's surface as possible. Make sure you're holding the tick by its head positioning the tweezers right at the point where the mouth enters the skin. This precision will help prevent squeezing the body and reduce the risk of injecting harmful substances into your dog. Gently pull the tick straight out. Do not twist or jerk the tick as this can leave mouth parts embedded in the skin or cause the tick to rupture. Once the tick is removed, examine it to make sure all parts have been extracted. What to do after removing a tick? 
After you've successfully removed a tick from your dog, taking the right steps can ensure your pet's health and prevent potential infections. Here's a quick and effective guide to follow. Immediately disinfect the bite site using an antiseptic wipe or rubbing alcohol. This helps prevent infection at the site of the tick bite. Place the tick in alcohol or a sealed bag to kill it securely. Do not crush the tick with your fingers to avoid any contamination. Keep an eye on your dog for the next few weeks. Watch for signs of illness such as fever, unusual lethargy, swollen lymph nodes, or a rash near the bite site. These could be indicators of tick-borne diseases. Note the date and location of the tick bite. Keeping a record can be helpful if your dog starts showing symptoms and you need to visit the vet. If any concerning symptoms develop, contact your vet immediately. Early intervention is crucial for treating potential tick-borne diseases effectively. By following these steps, you can minimize the risks associated with tick bites and ensure your dog remains healthy and happy. Thanks for joining My Petsable Funny Pet Lovers in this comprehensive guide on tick prevention and care. Remember, regular checks and preventive care are key to keeping your dog safe from ticks and the diseases they carry. Stay vigilant and proactive in your pet care routine. Always consult with your vet for the best tick prevention strategies tailored to your dog's needs. Together, we can ensure our pets lead healthy, tick-free lives. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and click the bell icon for more pet care tips. Share this series with fellow dog owners and let's spread the word about effective tick prevention. And stay tuned for our next episode where we'll discuss symptoms of Lyme disease in dogs and why it's so dangerous. Make sure to keep an eye out for it.